Welcome to the iTech post-match interview with me, John Martin, and the Pirates coach, Gavin Cattle. The Pirates have beaten Coventry by 40 points to five. Gavin, I think the first thing I must ask is, how is the injury situation, Hayden King in particular? Yeah, um, Hayden's gone to hospital for some checks. Um, obviously, we get anything to do with uh, the sort of neck on that area. Um, presenting a couple of symptoms by, by all counts. He's talking, he's moving. Um, it's just precautionary at this stage, just checking him out. Okay, and Tommy Wyatt went off early on? Yeah, so Tommy failed his HIA, so okay. there's a head collision right. there. Um, again, we'll have to assess that again in the morning. So 40 points to five sounds like a comprehensive victory, but is it fair to say it was probably tougher than that suggests? It was. I think, um, obviously, the last 15 to 20 minutes, Coventry then were chasing the game and we capitalised on a few turnovers there. Um, first half was very patchy, end-to-end um, -end stuff. We really, in that final third, were very inaccurate, um, very loose, which is quite, quite unlike us. Um, and, and, yeah, it was end-to-end. -end. That first try was we were camped on their line. Ended up on yeah. our own try line, ended up yeah. turning over and scoring down the other end. Yeah. So, hey, look, it was um, what, what I was pleased with is just when we did turn the ball over and make a mistake, the attitude then to chase back. Or So, you always look at them sort of things as a coach mm. around the character, wanting to work hard for your teammates. Yeah, yeah. And um, although we were inaccurate at times, that was there in abundance. Yeah, I think the, the desire and endeavour was certainly there, evident today. Yeah, I think we showed flashes of really good stuff. Um, a challenge for us is trying to create those pressure sets. Uh, where we, I think we did a couple of times in the second half where we you know, went through the phases, um, maintained our shape to a certain extent, but um, it's got some really nice tries. Yeah. Um, but it's, it's creating more moments like that or, or staying patient within your kick game, um, staying patient in the final third. Just lacked a little composure, especially in that first half. Is it fair to say then that you think you probably left a few tries out there? You could have scored more. Yeah, we could have. Um, I think we could have just been more efficient with our energy. You know, when you're turning over, chasing back, the pitch was quite, um, it's held up really nicely underfoot, but it's heavier than we used to. Um, and our boys looked quite tired around that 60 minute mark, um, 50, 60 minute mark. I think we've got to look at as well our training week under the conditions we've been training as well. It's the first time we've come across these conditions this year. Yeah, so it's yeah. just the body's adapting to that. Um, but like I said, if we're, we're, we're accurate there, you're not doing those chase backs um, and then you're more efficient with the ball, so a bit of a double-edged sword. I thought there was some excellent defence by the Pirates as well on occasions because they put you under a lot of pressure. Yeah, and, the, and a lot of it was from turnover, and that's what I'm talking about, that character to get back, get, get in position, make that shot, get off the floor for your teammate. Um, uh, yeah, and that was there. Uh, so character-wise, you know, you can't fault the lads today. AJ Camp, man on the match, he was outstanding in attack, mm -hmm. but also in defence. Yeah, he was. I just think high ball wise, uh, you know, he's been stand out for us in the back, back three, but he's now starting to put what we see in training, his ability to beat somebody one on one um, and passing at the right time as well. So he's, a, he's, a, he's an exciting talent, AJ. Uh, and it's just, I'm just pleased that he can transfer that into the game today. Alex O'Meara, likewise, he scored a good try, but put in a couple of crucial tackles too. Yeah, he did. Um, I, and I think, you know, we've got to credit the, the work that goes inside the 15s. I think everybody emotionally remembers that winger dotting the ball down. Yeah, yeah. Um, it's just what's happened pre that. And I think, you know, our forwards got in between. We knew Coventry would, you know, have a heavy press in the in the middle of the field. We got our head through that contact, which enabled us then to play off quick ball. So yeah, it goes hand in hand. Josh Josh Colfield and Danny Cutmore, brilliant in the second row. Josh had a nasty injury early on. He's, he seemed to be struggling, but he came through the game. Yeah, he, he's uh, looking for a rest, I think. Is he? Now, now, <laughs> now Josh, he works hard. You know, he's under 10 percent there. Um, I think we all had a bit of a, a, a physicality shake-up after that Harper game, and them two um, have led from the front since that performance. So, um, yeah, it's good to see them boys uh, performing pretty well. You've stated that you're looking for consistency. It's, it's beginning to come, isn't it? Yeah, three games. Um, I'd like to see us finish this block off against Scottish next week. Um, you know, the trade-off the lads is off, on them weeks off. We give them the full week off. Mm. Um, but, you know, the, the trade-off then is when they're in, we're, we're working hard. And uh, we just touched on that at the end there. We want to finish this block um, well and strong, uh, which then, you know, there's a lot of contention for places. There's a couple of injuries out there today that might take care mm, of that. Yeah, but, um, yeah. but, yeah, it's a lot of contention. You know, boys are chomping at the bit. We're not involved in the 23 at the minute as well. We had Shay Tucker come back on the bench and scored a very good try from inside his own half. So it's good to get him back. Yeah, it is. Um, you've got Nico on the brink as well. Um, Shay's just had a niggly injury since that Richmond game and you know uh, but Joe Elderkin he's put his hand mm, right up has. in the last three yeah. games and he's brought a really good balance to his game uh, and physically as well he's shown up really well I think he put that up to another level for him this week. I think the halfbacks work well together. Yeah we've got experience there um, yeah. you know both got strong opinions on the game and you know boss our boys around so 
Yeah, and then you've got Schwarzy and um, uh, sorry, Dorse on, on yeah. just returning from injury as well. Trained really well last week, so we've got you know some boys who are really like are pushing the standards of training. Mm. Good crowd here today. They got behind you as well. Yeah, it's lovely to see a building, isn't it? You know, um, great to see that noise. You know, from you know the, the boys getting over the whitewash and. Uh, <laughs> You're in the reaction of the crowd, so uh, I'm just hopefully it keeps building this sort of. Uh, we've got to keep winning, keep performing. Yeah, yeah. Hopefully they've got their money's worth today, um, and yeah, they'll see it grow. And London Scottish next week, they're bottom of the league without a win, but they're still dangerous, aren't they? I'd go back to the Harpery game. So you yeah, underestimate yeah, yeah. a team in, yeah. the, in this league, you, you get turned over. So we bring the right emotion, the right accuracy. You know, the score look up for itself, but um, you know, it's another thing. You know, looking at the league table and going, oh yeah, you should be doing this. Mm -hmm. We've got to go there and do it. Gavin, thanks very much and congratulations on today's performance. Cheers, John. Cheers. As Gavin Cattle, reflecting on today's game, the Cornish Pirates have beaten Coventry by 40 points to five. Thank you for watching the iTech interview with me, John Martin. Mm -hmm.